I want to talk to you today about oils of the ancient Bible. Thank you so much for joining us for this class. I'm Dr. Tamara Camo, and I'm making this video for people who want to learn how to apply Young Living oils to the scripture. I wrote a book about menopause and many of these oils are featured in that book. So here we are going to focus on the oils of ancient scripture collection from Young Living. This incredible kit comes with 10 precious oils that are rich in history and traditions. Before we dive in, let's learn a little about essential oils. Historically, essential oils or aromatic oils were used by Egyptians as early as 4500 BC before Christ. Scripturally, oils appear in the Bible time and time again, often referencing olive oil, but the 10 oils we are about to explore are also mentioned. How many of you are new to essential oils and aren't really sure what they are? Next time you drive by a field of fresh lavender or hike through a pine forest, breathe deeply because you will be experiencing the soul soothing power of essential oils. Essential oils are more than nice scents. These powerful plant extracts are your path to lifelong wellness and endless emotional support. So I started using Young Living three years ago but I've been using essential oils for over a decade for a variety of applications. I have an advanced degree in aromatherapy and the more I read about them and the more people share their testimonies with me, I just find new ways to bless people with these oils. I am not here to diagnose, treat, or cure any of your illnesses. The content I cover is for informational purposes only. However, I am a doctor, but I am sharing with you information that you could find anywhere on the internet. So this is not a medical talk. This is just information for your personal growth. Also, I am using some of the information from Grow Workspace. They provide resources for you to share graphics and you need access to their content if you want to duplicate any of the materials in this presentation. You can go to growworkspace.com to have a free trial. I recommend that you use one drop of essential oil with 10 to 15 drops of any type of oil you have at home, such as coconut, olive oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, etc and then apply it to your skin. Purity is extremely important when it comes to wellness products. When you use products that are pure, you will have more effective results. Products that are formulated with synthetic ingredients may not provide any results and could potentially cause damage to your body. Young Living goes above and beyond organic standards to provide natural products that work. They farm on land that doesn't use pesticides. They hand weed their fields. They test their essential oils multiple times to make sure they're pure and of high quality. And if a batch doesn't meet these high standards, they will not bottle it and send it. And you can check the website for more information about that. So the first oil we'll talk about is aloes, also known as sacred sandalwood. In the scripture, it says he was accompanied by Nicodemus, the man who earlier had visited Jesus at night. Nicodemus brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 75 pounds. Taking Jesus's body, the two of them wrapped it with the spices in strips of linen. This was in accordance with Jewish burial customs. That is John chapter 19, verses 39 to 40. Aloes appears in the Bible five times in both the Old and New Testament. It is believed to be made from fragrant sandalwood. It was most notably used to prepare Jesus' body for burial. 
Historically, it is thought to be one of the oldest types of incense used during rituals and meditation, especially amongst the Egyptians and for embalming. The amount of aloes that Nicodemus bought showed his incredible wealth. That amount, which was 75 to 100 pounds of sandalwood, would be worth over $200,000 in today's market. It also showed how important Jesus was. Sandalwood is known to have a warm, woodsy, and slightly sweet aroma. Common uses, upscale spa treatments, and yoga studios use it to enhance member experience. Try diffusing when you're a little revved up or when your mind won't turn off. It can be very effective before bedtime. You can use it alone or in combination as a perfume or cologne. And it also has incredible properties for the skin. Apply topically to enhance the natural radiance of healthy looking skin or add it to your daily skin care regimen to reduce the appearance of fine lines, puffiness, and blemishes. I personally keep it in my bathroom and if I use a topical oil to moisturize my face, I'll add a drop of sandalwood to it and then use the oil. Next oil is cassia. Cassia is a spice made from the bark of East Asian evergreen trees. Scripture. Psalm chapter 45, verse 8. All your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia. From palaces adorned with ivory, the music of the strings makes you glad. In the past, cassia is mentioned three times in the Bible, all in the Old Testament. It was a key ingredient in the incense used in temple worship. It was also used as the anointing oil and the oil that burned daily in the temple lamps. It also dates back to Egyptian times and was used during mummification. Now it is noted for its unmistakable fragrance and calming aromatic properties. While its aroma is very closely related to cinnamon, the chemical properties are quite different. Common uses, put a drop or two on your fingers and rub your hands through your hair to provide a pleasant aroma to your hair. Or add one drop to a citrus blend or diffuse it with clove, ginger, or Christmas spirit during the fall, winter, and holidays. Tips and safety. If used topically, it needs to be diluted with a carrier oil because it can feel hot to the skin unless diluted. If the warming sensation is too strong, just apply more carrier oil. And use with caution if pregnant and avoid contact with sensitive areas like the eyes. Do not use on children as it can cause skin sensitivity. And even in adults, test on a small area first. Cedar wood. This is from Hosea chapter 14, verse 6. His young shoots will grow. His splendor will be like an olive tree. His fragrance like a cedar of Lebanon. In the past, this versatile wood is mentioned 21 times in the Bible. The wood was used to build Solomon's beautiful temple, and it was known for its durability. The ancient Egyptians used cedar wood oil to embalm for perfumery and in cosmetics. The ancient Greeks also used cedar wood oil on bodies as they believed it helped to make one immortal. Now, cedar wood has a warm woodsy aroma that creates a comforting, uplifting experience. Common uses, it's often found in men's aftershaves and colognes because of its scent. Also, you can add it to your favorite skincare products or lotions to help create smoother skin. You could add it to your shampoo and conditioner for shinier, healthier looking hair. Also, many people find it helpful for restful sleep. One could diffuse it. You could apply it topically before bed. For instance, rub it on your big toe before you go to bed. Add some oil and rub oil on your feet before you go to bed. Cypress oil. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 14. 
He cut down cedars or perhaps took a cypress or oak. He let it grow among the trees of the forest or planted a pine and the rain made it grow. This oil is extracted from the cypress tree, which has wood so durable that the cypress doors of Rome's St. Peter's Basilica show no signs of decay even after 1,200 years. In the past, Cyprus is mentioned five times biblically and all in the Old Testament. The tree was mostly used for its wood as it was strong and durable. Noah used it to build the ark. Greeks and Romans used it for relieving upset tummies and used the leaves of the tree to help treat something. They don't tell me. You have to look it up. But I think it has something to do with men. Issues that might happen when they get older. I'm just guessing, but I think that's what it is. Current use of Cyprus. It has a fresh and herbaceous aroma. It can be grounding and energizing at the same time when diffused. It can help restore feelings of security and stability. Common uses for those with oily complexions. Add one drop to your moisturizer to increase the radiant look of your skin. In a diffuser, add four to six drops to increase motivation. Or mix three drops of cypress with a carrier oil and massage your legs to get the blood flowing and your energy and motivation up before a run. Fun fact, cypress is an evergreen that is used frequently in landscaping. I bet you see it all the time and had no idea that it was a cypress. Google and search for an image so you can spot it as you drive by homes. Frankincense, my favorite. Matthew, chapter 2, verse 11. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The Hebrew word for frankincense, Lavona is used in the Bible 22 times, making it one of the most recognized materials in scripture. Most famously, it was a gift given to the infant Jesus when the wise men came to visit him. Frankincense is an ancient aromatic resin used for incense, perfumes, and balms. Frankincense was one of the consecrated incenses described in the Bible as being used in offerings and ceremonies in the temple in Jerusalem. It was a symbol of holiness and righteousness. The gift of frankincense to the Christ child was symbolic of his willingness to become a sacrifice, wholly giving himself up, analogous to a burnt offering like the sacrifices and ceremonies in the temple. It is also said to be symbolic of his deity. Now, aromatically, this oil has an earthly and uplifting smell that creates a comforting, safe, and empowering environment. Common uses, diffuse or apply to enhance meditation and prayer, or apply one drop to your face moisturizer. Topically, this oil is pure gold for your skin. Its rejuvenating properties will brighten and beautify your skin. Add a drop or two to your hand moisturizer to help avoid dry hands. Apply a few drops to your breasts daily. This oil is a jack of all trades and has many other uses. Hyssop. Biblical reference. Psalms, chapter 51, verse 7. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. The 12 biblical references to this plant indicate it was likely used in practices and rituals intended to purify and cleanse. In the past, it was found that hyssop had a slightly sweet scent and was considered a sacred oil in ancient Egypt, Israel, and Greece. It is in the same family as mint. This plant was used in traditional and herbal practices for centuries to promote wellness. Now, its fragrant scent stimulates creativity and meditation. Common uses, apply a drop or two or 
diffuse four to eight drops during work, play, yoga, or a long study session. Safety. Please dilute well if using topically and do not use on small children. Mer. Mm -hmm. Mark chapter 15, verse 23. Then they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. Also, Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Myrrh is mentioned 17 times in the Bible and is found in both the Old and New Testament. Then, in the past, it was one of the key ingredients in Moses' holy anointing oil and as incense in the holy temple. It is also used particularly for the mouth and gums. It was given to the baby Jesus by one of the wise men. It is said this was to foreshadow his death because in ancient times it symbolized bitterness, suffering, and affliction. Lastly, it was also employed in embalming and religious ceremonies. Jesus was also buried with it. Today, myrrh oil is valued around the world. The oil is now recognized for its beautifying properties and grounding aroma, and myrrh essential oil is common in cosmetic and aromatic industries. It is said to help promote a smooth and youthful complexion. It also has many health benefits. A quick Google search, benefits of myrrh oil, will share some valuable information. Common uses, you can add a drop along with frankincense to your daily skincare routine. You can add a drop to any skin balm recipe. You can diffuse four to eight drops for a calming and relaxing environment. Myrtle. Nehemiah chapter eight, verse 15. Go out into the hill country and bring back branches from olive and wild olive trees and from myrtles, palms, and shade trees to make temporary shelters, as it is written. Biblically, myrtle branches were used in ceremonies and were also a sign of God's goodness. They are mentioned seven times, all in the Old Testament. Then Sukkot commonly translated as the Feast of Tabernacles, includes myrtle branches in its ceremony. Sukkot is a week-long Jewish holiday that comes five days after Yom Kippur. Sukkot celebrates the gathering of the harvest and commemorates the miraculous protection God provided for the children of Israel when they left Egypt. Now, it is used in Sukkot ceremonies today. It is difficult to source and has a fresh, sweet aroma, which may help clear the mind. Two favorite oil blends containing it are purification and RC. Common uses. Add a drop to your nighttime skin routine to enhance the appearance of healthy looking skin. Diffuse four to eight drops to elevate your mood. Annika. This is found in Exodus chapter 30, verse 34. Then the Lord said to Moses, Take fragrant spices, gum resin, anica, and galbanum, and pure frankincense, all in equal amounts. Anica was an ingredient in the pure and holy perfume or incense the Lord commanded Moses to make. There are varying opinions as to what anica actually was, but there are many that agree that it was likely benzoin, a balsamic resin obtained from the bark of several species of trees. This is what Young Living's oil is made of, having a sweet and woody vanilla-like aroma. In the past, it was used in perfumes, some kinds of incense, and as a flavoring. It was also used for medicinal purposes. It was said to help heighten your spiritual experiences. Annika oil is mentioned in the Bible one time directly and 54 times indirectly. It was an important oil of ancient times. Now it continues to be a major component of incense for churches today. It's also used in everything from perfume to cosmetics. As an oil, it is warm and can help support your emotions and help you connect spiritually. It is a calming and grounding scent. Common uses, 
Diffuse four to eight drops to feel calm. Add a drop to your skincare routine. Rose of Sharon. This is referred to in the Song of Solomon, chapter two, verse one. I am a Rose of Sharon, a lily of the valleys. Like a lily among thorns is my darling among the young women. Like an apple tree among the trees of the forest is my beloved among the young men. I delight to sit in his shade and his fruit is sweet to my taste. Cystus is believed to be the biblical rose of Sharon. Then shepherds in biblical times frequently used rose of Sharon for cuts and wounds. It was said to help slow bleeding and prevent infection. It was also used as a perfume and may have been another component of incense in biblical times. Now, its honey-like fragrance is soothing and uplifting. Think calming with this oil. Calming physically when applied topically and calming to your emotions when diffused. When you can create a calming atmosphere, your spirits can rise, which is perfect this time of year. Common uses, apply two to three drops diluted to joints when needed. Add two to three drops to a roller or any skin balm recipe. Pinterest is a great place to look for recipes. Diffuse four to eight drops for a calming atmosphere. Perfect during meditation or counseling. Thank you so much for coming to class and taking time to explore the biblical history of ancient oils. It is cool to be able to use these oils in modern day to support a healthy lifestyle. You can connect with me on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok using my name, Dr. Pomo. I want to talk to you today about oils of the ancient Bible, but actually even more generally about spirituality in oils. So we know that negative emotions have the potential to harm spirituality and essential oils release molecules into the air that interact with the nervous system and endocrine systems in such a way to dr dramatically alter the release of neurotransmitters involved in mood, memory, emotions, and cognition. In the Bible, they talk about anointing all the time. What does it mean to anoint? The meaning is being smeared or rubbed with oils as a part of a religious ceremony to make someone or something sacred. Are, are there any oils in the starter kit that are also in the ancient scriptures kit. Well, frankincense is, of course, in the starter kit. Some people think that when they refer to spikenard in the Bible, it's referred to many, many times, that what we know today as lavender might be spikenard, and there's disagreement on that, but it could be. At any rate, lavender is very good for stress and enhancing positive mood, which can help your spirituality anyway. And there are many biblical references to spikenard. Lavender products were extremely precious at that time. From the Gospel of St. John, they wrote, Then took Mary a pound of spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled with the odor of the ointment that was chapter 12 verse 3 some of the other oils that are mentioned in the Bible that aren't a part of the starter kit are dill cumin cinnamon coriander they refer to mint could be peppermint or spearmint or something in that family, and rosemary. What types of carrier oils would you use to make a anointing oil if you want to? 
Almonds are mentioned several times in the Bible, so you could use almond oil. And olives are mentioned often, so olive oil is another good carrier oil if you were going to make your own anointing oil. Also, cypress is one of the trees in, or one of the oils in the kit. But other things that are mentioned are pine, so cedar, myrtle, and cypress are all in this kit. But they also mention the fir tree, and there are some fir oils that are mentioned, and the pine tree. Yes, and a little shot glass. I'm gonna use olive oil. Pour the little bit in the shot glass. Just at the bottom. Just enough to get on my feet before I go. There's sacred frankincense. One drop. Sacred frankincense. drops came out, that's fine. Cinnamon. cinnamon. Finally. Put all of it in here. Finally, my mirror is open. Go oh, ahead. Sacred sandalwood, sacred frankincense, myrrh, and cinnamon. Mix it together. And then I'll probably be able to use this a few times. Just dilute it. Call it my special oil. I won't say there's anything holy about it, but it's my special oil. It's good for my skin.